I just bought this massive GPU lot on eBay. Let's see how many of these cards will actually work. First up is this Radeon HD 6870 from SFX, which after turning it on, didn't post. Next, we have this GTX 760 from EVGA, which did post. Third, we have this GT 740 from EVGA, which didn't post. Fourth, we have this GTX 650 from EVGA, which actually had a burning smell coming from it and didn't post. Fifth, we have this GTX 1050 Ti from ASUS, which when we turned it on, posted just fine. Like for part two, where we'll continue testing the rest of the cards. I just bought this massive untested GPU lot on eBay. Let's see how many of these cards will actually work part two. First up is the GTX 560 Ti from ASUS, which after turning it on, didn't post. Second, we have this GTX 780 Ti, which posted. However, we noticed there was a loud noise coming from the fan, so stay tuned where we'll get that fixed in the upcoming video. Third was this GTX 670 from Gigabyte, which also booted up just fine. Next, we have this really cool looking GTX 465 from Galaxy, which unfortunately didn't post. Fifth was this GTX 660 Ti from PMY, which also didn't post. Like for part three, where we'll continue testing the rest of the cards. I just bought this massive untested GPU lot on eBay. Let's see how many of these cards will actually work part three. First up is this GTX 460 from EVGA, which after turning it on, didn't post. Second, we have this Radeon 7970 from SFX, which I was actually really excited about. However, after turning it on, it didn't post either. Third, we had this ASUS Radeon 6870, which unfortunately, after a close inspection, we realized that one of the six pin connectors was completely bent the wrong way, which disqualified it at least for now until we can fix it. Next up is this GTX 560 from Gigabyte, which also didn't post. Fifth was this MSI GTX 970 100 million edition, which despite having an absolutely destroyed cooler, the card booted up just fine. Like for part four, we'll continue testing the rest of the cards. I just bought this massive untested GP lot on eBay. Let's see how many of these cards will actually work part four. First up is this GTX 550 Ti from EVGA, which after turning it on, didn't post. Second, we have this Radeon 6970 from SFX that didn't end up posting either. Third, we have this GTX 460 from MSI that had some significant physical damage and after turning it on, it didn't end up booting up. Next up, we have this Radeon 5870, which also didn't end up posting. Fifth, we have this RX 550 from MSI, which after turning it on, booted up just fine. Like for part five, where we'll continue testing the rest of the cards. I just bought this massive untested GP lot on eBay. Let's see how many of these cards will actually work part five. First up is this GT 630 which after turning it on didn't end up posting. Second we have this GTX 1070 from ASUS which was probably one of the newest and most powerful cards of our entire lot but unfortunately after turning it on it didn't end up booting. Third is this Radeon HD 5570 which also didn't end up posting. Next up is this Radeon HD 5770 which despite having a cooler that wasn't staying on posted just fine. Fifth was this Radeon HD 4850 X2 which posted however there were two large color lines that came down the middle of the screen. Like for part six, where we'll continue testing the rest of the cards. this card. massive untested GP lot on eBay. Let's see how many of these cards will actually work part six. First up, we have this Radeon HD 4850, which after turning it on, didn't end up posting. Second, we have this Radeon HD 7970 from Gigabyte, which is probably the most filthy card of the entire lot. It looked like it may have even been in mud at some point. So as expected, it didn't post. Third, we have this NVIDIA 7800 GTX, which also didn't end up posting. Fourth, we have this Radeon HD 6850 from SFX, which which after turning it on booted up just fine. Like for part seven where we'll continue testing the rest of the cards. I was just filming the finale of our massive untested GPU lot video series when this happened. As you can see the finale is gonna be quite interesting so stay tuned. I just bought this massive untested GPU lot on eBay. Let's see how many of these cards will actually work part seven. First up is this AMD RX 480 which after turning it on didn't end up posting. Second, we have this GTX 660 from MSI, which unfortunately had some major physical damage and even had a warped PCB, so we are unable to test the card. Finally, we have this GTX 1060, which if you saw my most recent video, after turning it on, it immediately exploded. So it's safe to say this card definitely didn't boot. This was the final part of this series, but stay tuned as we're gonna try to repair as many of these cards as possible to get them back up and operational. I just bought this massive untested GPU lot on eBay, and after testing them all, we had nine cards that ended up booting. So let's see how many of these cards can actually handle a stress test. First up is this RX 550 from MSI, which ended up handling this GPU stress test with no issue at all. Second, we had this GTX 780, TI, which also ran just fine. However, we did see temperatures approaching 90 degrees Celsius, so it likely needs to be repasted. After that, we have this GTX 760 from EVGA, which also seemed to handle the GPU stress test without an issue. Fourth, we have this GTX 1050 Ti, which ended up running just fine under the full load stress test. Like for part two, where we'll continue testing the rest of the cards.
I just bought this massive untested GPU lot on eBay, and after testing all the cards, we had 9 that ended up booting, so let's see how many can actually handle a stress test part 2. First up is this Radeon HD 5770, which although it ran quite hot, was completely stable under a stress test. Next we have this GTX 670 from Gigabyte, which despite booting, the card wasn't stable at all, and was having issues being recognized in Windows, even with the clean driver installed. So stay tuned, as we're going to try to get this resolved in a future video. Third is this GTX 970 100ml edition from MSI, which was completely stable and temporary look great despite having some significant physical damage. Like for part 3 where we'll finish testing the rest of the cards. I just bought this massive untested GP lot in eBay, so let's see how many of these cards can actually handle a stress test part 3. First up is this Radeon HD 6850 from XFX, which ran quite well in their GPU stress test and had no issues. And their final card of this entire lot was this Radeon HD 4850X2, which on startup had two large vertical artifacts, and after trying to load the drivers on the card, the system ended up locking up on a blue screen and had artifacts all over the display. So it's safe to say this card isn't stable. So out of the 32 card lot, we had 9 that posted and 7 that were stable in Windows. We now want to benchmark these remaining cards, so let us know in the comments what game should we test with. 